Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the basement, basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. YouTube. Bunny Man is taking on some shrines in Breath of the Wild. Also, Ted and I are going to tell you about how we propose to our wives, first dates, fun stuff like that. Let's do it! Time to taste justice. Bunny justice! You're not holding the hammer. I'll hold it soon enough. So you're running in what we like to call the right direction. Correct. The correct direction. Guys, right is uh, right and wrong. It's an yeah. ethical word. Correct yeah, not is a cardinal direction. Accurate, not right. Oh, I didn't hear your approach. I was lost in this song. He, my dude passed away. Excuse me. So, Peter. Yes. What was the first date that you took your wife, Kelsey? Oh, on? yes. So, okay. So, the first date story is a good one. So, I had gotten into a car accident with my Jeep Grand Wagoneer, which is one of those big Whoa. old Jeep SUVs with a wood paneling on the side. This was before the date. So it was all smushed up, but uh, I took it home and I was working on it and working on it and working on it. And my first date was the first time I had it like successfully running and driving again. Uh, so I was pretty proud of it. So I made myself a frozen pizza in the oven and I set it in the middle of the front bench seat. It was one of the, you know, the old SUVs had the bench where you can sit three people in the front. And uh, drove and picked up Kelsey. And I was like, you want some pizza? And she was like, no, thanks. <laughs> so I ate the pizza. And we drove to downtown Denver, and we saw a band. Nor was it Dave Matthews' band? It was band? Norma Jean. Norma Jean! Oh, yes. Rock Is there a video of this concert? No. On the internet? Well, oh. maybe. But... I mean, not the video. It's not the video that I'm thinking of. No. Where Peter has hair, and he's, like, screaming, like deadly awesome metal music we've already posted that i know but it was a, a lot video but that was a long time ago we did not have nearly the following hey is this the is this your story of my first norma jean concert of course it is a vocalist or is this my story of our first date <laughs> what was the? i think it was the larimer lounge was the name of the place but yeah, we rode there in the Jeep that I was all crunched and I got running again and I ate a pizza on the way there and then we then we saw Norma Jean, which is just amazing rock and roll. They're still around, although they don't have the same people in the band that they used to. And uh, Kelsey was very impressed. And then... I don't think that that's the right ring. And that went well. And we didn't kiss. Hey, guys, pro tip. When you take a girl on a first date, if she's into you, and you, and you think of it, and you think it feels r not unreasonable, deny the kiss on the first date. Like, d not deny, like, if she goes for it, back away, but, like, you don't have to go for it. You could just let it be. Boom. Is that how? Yep, you gotta put an arrow between two rings. If you like it, then you put should put two rings on it, through it, around it. So now we're gonna do this shrine. So... So yeah, when you just like say, well, I had a really nice time, good night, and then you hug her and then you walk away, she's gonna be like, oh, what? I, no I kiss? A, and then she's gonna lay in bed awake going, this guy's different than other guys. I I will not rest until, I, until he can't help but kiss me. So then she'll act all nice and put on lipstick the next time when you go on your second date. She's like, were my lips too crusty? I need to put some lipstick <laughs> like, on. Like, <laughs> like vanilla frosting flavored lip gloss, <laughs> you know? <laughs> What's your favorite flavor of donut? Mm, I'll just get out my Bavarian cream filled lipstick. <laughs> oh, you're not asking them. You're no, her no. asking me. No, yeah, I'm pretending to be. Uh... Moving in Peralo. I love this shrine. You can do it. I believe in you. As one. Bereavement insurance. Oh, that's right. We got to do both at the same time, don't we? No. You have to do both switches at the same that. time. It's in the middle. Nope. Ball is gone. It's in the middle. It's right there. Oh, I see you. Hello. I would. I pointed at the screen. And that's it. Done. The shrine is easier than. Your putting on Bavarian cream-filled lipstick. <laughs> Look at Bunny Man. <laughs> Look at him just <laughs> frozen in his running stance. I'm late for that's, a very important date. That's with a runny my bunny. First date with my wife. Let me tell you. 
So, uh, let me tell you guys the story of how I proposed to my wife, Lisa. Oh, yeah. Bring it on. Which is interesting, because it's also kind of similar to a first date story, too. Wait, so, Ted, tell us the story of how you proposed to Risa. Teresa? To Risa. To Lisa, not Teresa. So, uh... Teresa said story. no. Here, okay. It's not a good story. <laughs> <laughs> So Lisa is the first girl I ever dated, and she was also the second girl I dated, and the third girl I dated, and the fourth girl I dated. So we broke up a bunch of times. <laughs> Did you ever date anyone else? No. Uh, unless you count one time I took a friend to prom. <gasps> but she asked me, and Lisa and I weren't dating at the time. She asked me, and she also asked Lisa if it was okay, because she's Lisa fr Lisa's friend, too. This is making me think of Mario Odyssey, which... Makes me think that maybe you told me the story while we were playing Odyssey. It's it's possible, but um, did you go as friends? Kind of. Did she ask you? I don't know. I don't know if she was going as a friend. While you were eating dinner, did she go like this? No, there was nothing. Stop <laughs> <laughs> twisting your finger on my leg. I drew a little circle on his thigh with my fingertip <laughs> near the knee. Okay. <laughs> it's a family-friendly channel. <clears throat> yeah, it wasn't anything... Ted and I are both married to our beautiful wives, and we have kids with them. And that's that. Right, but uh, anyway, okay, so... Um, we dated for a pretty relatively long time, but the first official date that I took her on... Oh, you're out of gas. You're out of gas. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> See? Yeah, okay. Um, the first date I took her on, we were too young to drive. Uh huh. Um, so my dad picked her up and dropped us off in town. Oh. And we went for a little walk, and it was like on my birthday, I think, because I wasn't allowed to date her until I was 16. So we just did that. You were <laughs> we 16 just, and you didn't even drive? I had just turned 16, so I didn't get to take the driver's license yet. Exactly. Wait, what? Why wouldn't you, don't, they let you take it when you just turned 16. I know, but it was like Christmas break. It was just like, it was scheduled for a time after my birthday. Uh, so I didn't like go on my birthday. Uh, I mean, come on. What, what do you think this is? Amateur I, hour? I went on my birthday. Oh, well, fine. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's beside the point. Hey, no, let me tell you the story about the time I got my driver's license. My story isn't done yet. <laughs> hey, you did it to me when you started talking about all whatever. No, I mean. at least kept it on topic with your story. I'm I was keeping just it on topic you. when I'm talking about driving and driver's <laughs> licenses in 16. So, the first date that I took her on, we went to a coffee shop called Dunn Brothers. You might have them where you live, you might not. Um, D-U-N-N, -N, we... Dunn. Yep, Dunn Bros. Not dumb. Oh, is this the one that you have to be naked at... The Blood Moon? It is. What? I don't yeah. know about this one. Okay, well, we can't do this one right now, but we're just going to have to make a mental note. Basically, how are we going to... How do you force a Blood Moon? You can't. You just have to be ready to get here, in a, like, really quick. Oh, uh, well, so you know I'm what? Put, put the travel medallion there. Oh, genius. I'm I, also going to put some interesting stamps around it. So. And then when the sky is like... Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Yeah, the travel medallion is definitely going to help. Link! This, so. Aunt Flo visits once again. Beep. Okay, nice. cool. Aunt Flo visits once again. I don't know. I'm um, tired, of, tired of Zelda's typical lines. Get, yeah, we're going to spruce up one. the old... Well, you got to drop a dragon scale. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember which kind. Let's go there and find out. So anyway, I'm going to finish my story here. So we went to Dunbros and we got a white hot chocolate. So you remember? Like chocolate. Yes. Why does it got to be white hot chocolate? Because that's the flavor that we picked. Okay? Because it's delicious, dude. Yeah. Anyway, take the reason the reason I remember white chill pill. <laughs> the, the, the reason that I remember is because then every time after that, Mm -hmm. Dun Bros, we got a white hot chocolate. Oh, it became a thing. It was like our thing. God. And we'd go there and we'd talk and, and whatever. It was just really, really great. We got white hot chocolates really and we walked around town. That was our first date. But What town? Uh, the town of Elk River, Minnesota. Oh. And did, so is that Dun Brothers ever still there? To, it is. Did your so dad you pick go. you up? Uh, after the movie. So we went to Dun Bros and then we went to go see a movie. What movie did you see? The Twin Towers. Or the Two Towers. Lord of the Rings. <laughs> That's a much different movie. Yeah, no, it was great. 
Uh, yeah. The moment where the Ents all come out of the forest. Oh, yeah! Um, we, we distinctly remember looking at each other and going, Sweet! <laughs> and then they smooched up a storm. No, we had, uh, oh, actually, we had had our first kiss already. Oh. It was, it was our first date, but, I mean, we'd been together for a couple months. Yeah. So, but anyway, uh, I digress. First so, comes smooching, then comes date. Several years later, like college and, you know, whatever, we were pretty serious. And so I took Lisa to... You're looking for ingredients? <sighs> yes, I'm in the wrong thing. I'm trying to think and talk and whatever all at the same time. Well, I would start telling a different story, but we all know how you feel about that. I'm in the middle of this story, Peter. That's the problem. Little bit of in the middle of a story. So, gosh. <laughs> this is really hard, especially when you're making it worse. Oh, my bad. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. so several years later. Yeah, several years later, I mm -hmm. took her to the same Dunbros. Oh, and was it like the anniversary the of your? Why are the three fairies right there? I think that there's. I don't. Oh, ooh, ooh. Is this a shrine, shrine, shrine? I mean, there's three right there. That's weird, right? It is. Careful, careful. Slow and steady. Nope. Mine! Oh, <laughs> stupid. I didn't even do anything. I, I barely moved, but they ran away. They're okay. afraid of bunnies. So several years later, you took her to the same Dunbros. We got white hot chocolates. Aww. We sat there. Oh. And I, you know, I was just talking, and, uh, you know, I was like, man, remember this is where we had our first date, and I'm just so great that I took you here again. And I was, like, really playing it up a little bit, and uh -huh. she, she was just... Happy and just having such well, a she's romantic suspicious? time, and she said, "Oh, you're so romantical." She actually said it just like that. Romantical. Really, yeah, we were just being cute with each other, and then, Ugh. um, <laughs> right? <laughs> no. um, Kids, wait! A fire just like spontaneously started. Did you see that, guys? Rewind to ten seconds. No, I think I think what happened is I. Oh, there was like wood, and it got bumped toward the something. So the it was at that point, af right after she said that I was so romantical, I had been holding in my jacket pocket the ring to propose to her this whole time, but I was like, ah, I need the right moment. And when I was finally like, she is swooned, like very heavily swooned right now. I'm going away from the thing I'm trying to go toward. Uh, I popped the question, kind of. I said, I pulled out the ring and I said, will you? And she said, will I what? <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> She's like, Great I, wa answer. I want to hear you say it. <laughs> it well, you're so not getting off that easy. I've been dreaming about this day since I was a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. No sentence fragments. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this place is cool looking. I remember seeing this when they like demoed the game and I was like, oh, I want to own it. I want to play it. Look at how big that guy is. Look at those camouflaged enemies. Now here we are with a bunny. Wow. Mine. Oh, I can't take it. Yeah. Ooh, a chest. You could if you weren't holding a leaf. Wow. I, I thought you were going to I thought you were going to say that you proposed at um since your first date also included the two towers, that when the return of the king, which is the third in that particular trilogy, the Lord of the Rings movie came out, that you would be like, you know, this movie makes me feel like I'm the Lord of the Rings. Well, maybe the Lord of this ring. Hey, I and was then, right. Whoop. <laughs> Do you, you see what I just you did? Just guessed? I just picked the right one. <laughs> It opened her right up. And then you kneel on the sticky floor. <laughs> <laughs> In the movie theater. <laughs> I can't actually get back up. Sorry. You I've drop the ring in her popcorn, and you're like, I think you should eat all of the popcorn during the movie. Make sure you get to the bottom. <laughs> oh, it actually took it, though, from us. Usually you can get it back. Nope. With some things. Not this thing. Woohoo! Shake, Atha. Yeah. 
But um, that was the story of our proposal, and I think we were like 19 or 20? No, 19 probably. Ah, young love. Yes. Was it in the springtime? It was. It was April... Wait, March? March 10th, I think. March? My proposal was in April. Was it on her birthday? No. Which happens to be in April. Yes. And your wife's. It's true. Our wives have very close birthdays, but we didn't do like a group celebration this year. You and I do not have close birthdays. Nope. Well, they're closer than some. I mean, you're in the fall, right? Four months. Yeah. Yeah. Well, late summer. Yeah, that's true. In In the the basement. basement.